Welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love reading. This is for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We will be going Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in that order. Just shuffle a couple more times here. Make sure you check out your other signs as well. Aries men, you have the Two of Swords in reverse. Aries females, you have the Prince of Cups. Leo men, you have the Chariot. Leo females, you have the Ace of Swords. Sagittarius men, you have the Eight of Wands. And Sagittarius females, you have the Sun. Wow, what a good day for our fire signs. Bottom of the deck and what you are dealing with is the Ace of Pentacles, the challenge to um, the challenge to the Ace of Pentacles is the Eight of Cups. In your recent past, you have the Six of Swords. In your near future, you have the Ten of Cups. Crowning your energy is the Seven of Pentacles, clarified with the Hierophant. Holy cow. Fire signs, what an amazing day for you. Wow. Okay, so we will move Sagittarius and Leo off to the side. And we will move Aries over here. Okay. So, the situation you are dealing with is a new beginning. A door of opportunity opening, but you're going to have to walk away from something in order to get that new beginning, in order to get that opportunity. Um, this is something that you have been trying to manifest. This is something that you have planted the seeds of long ago um, with your crowning the seven of pentacles. This is patiently waiting for your, your wishes, your desires, your dreams to manifest. Put them two together. That's the eight of pentacles. The eight of pentacles is bringing the spiritual uh, manifestation into the 3D. So you're, you, what you have been trying to create is about to be here. However, in order for that to come into your life, you have to walk away from something that has been emotionally draining you and just not serving your highest purpose, not meeting your emotional needs. Um, you could have been waiting for somebody to come back. But by you walking away from the situation, it is going to bring in a new beginning for you, a new opportunity that is bringing you a windfall of amazing opportunities. <clears throat> Sometimes the hardest part of getting what you want is walking away from what you don't want. Um, and that's a challenge for you today because you had a lot of hope in, um, um, in creating something new with somebody of your past. Um, so in the recent past, somebody, you know, left you behind, leaving and creating all these emotional hurts, all that baggage that you're now taking with you to move towards something more fulfilling, getting out of the rough waters and um, heading towards somewhere better. You're realizing this person did you a favor. Um, Aries men, you're making the choice to walk away. You are no longer sitting here waiting. Um, you're making the choice to go after something new. Somebody new could have recently entered your life. Why is the two of swords here for Aries men? Wow. Look at that. Aries men, you are at a new beginning. Um, bottom of the deck. You're allowing your intuition to guide you bringing you that balance, healing, and bringing you to the point where you can manifest. Holy cow. So you're going to move into a very successful relationship, Aries, with that Ten of Cups in your near future because you're bringing your own cup to the party. You're bringing your, um, you're bringing your own fulfillment, making the choice to focus on self, making the choice to um, nourish your own mind, body, and soul, making the choice to love yourself 
is going to bring in a committed relationship that you have planted the seeds too long ago that you had been trying to manifest trying to manifest now you're figuring it out that you need to make the choice to move on and when you do bam right here ready for you aries man fabulous for you aries man aries female you have the prince of cups why do they have the prince of cups you've also been trying to manifest this connection um wow knight of cups at the bottom this just does not get any better after you love and nurture yourself and focus on your own happiness here comes your wishes coming true everything you have been hoping for um you have received the healing that you have um needed to experience with that six of swords healing the past and now you're ready to move on to the future could be dealing with an aquarius here or cancer pisces scorpio uh wow things are aligning things are being set up for this manifestation of a commitment um somebody is coming into your life after once again you walk away from something that emotionally drained you there could have been a Cancer Pisces Scorpio or Taurus Virgo Capricorn in your past that um, promised you this new beginning, that made you think you had this new beginning, and then they walked away from you, and you were left to deal with the pain. You were left to heal. You have done that healing, and now you're seeing a future with somebody else. You may not even have your eye on anyone in particular, but you're now feeling like you are to the point I can love again. Um, I am over the heartache of this uh, thing that didn't get off the ground and now I'm moving forward towards my abundance and it's going to open that door of opportunity for you bringing in emotional fulfillment for both Aries and a commitment um, after a being very patient waiting for somebody very patient and this for a lot of you this is somebody new just because you've been waiting very patiently doesn't mean it's somebody returning it can be however it can be but it's just doing the work that you needed to do um, and you were patient with it. Look at this. The sun on the bottom and the star. Wow. All right. So with the star, I'm learning a new deck. So thank you for being patient while I look these up. Okay. It says you are receiving inspiration from a divine source and you need to look inward for what you need be it a psychic vision, the universal truth, or a fresh idea. Listen to your muse. This card advises you to slow down and be introspective. Take the time to meditate and listen for the answer that's being given to you from a mystical source. Ask yourself, why do I deserve to be divinely guided? Wow. It's also like saying that you yourself are the spiritual light. Um, it's like at night you get the dark, the dark skies are, you know, just dotted with stars, um, where we can't reach it, but we ourselves are those tiny points of spiritual light in comparison to the light of, you know, the sun, uh, the creator, which the sun was at the bottom of your deck. Um. This is this is symbolizing div the divine within our hearts and minds and the source of all inspiration, knowledge, wisdom. Um, and then you have the star as well, Aries females. Wow. Talk about wishes coming true, receiving divine inspiration, receiving divine guidance and following it. Um, and it's going to lead you to that emotional fulfillment because you took the time to do the groundwork and it's going to bring you to that spiritual place, that spiritual commitment. Um wow aries amazing oh let's get your uh sacred traveler card today fogged in take your time and go slow but do not get stagnant keep moving forward moving forward is going to bring you in this new beginning this new uh opportunity that's going to bring you in an amazing relationship all right, Leos, the Chariot and the Ace of Swords. Shout out to my friend down under who is a Leo. Hope you're doing well. I haven't heard from you in a while. I don't know why you just came to my mind, but all right. 
Oops, I just threw those. So Leo men, you are moving forward. You are going after whatever it is that you wanted that is at a distance from you. Um, this is somebody that you're trying to manifest. This is something that you are seeing victory in. You're creating this. I mean, you're manifesting this currently. You are actively manifesting this blessing into your life. Um, you know that, that your ships are about to come in and you're ready to move forward um, very quickly. It could be a Sagittarius or a Cancer. Um, we also got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. But you see a new opportunity coming. I don't feel your challenge whatsoever is to move forward. I feel you are ready because you're, you're in your cart. You're ready to move forward um, and, and take this um, situation, this relationship, whatever it is, to a new level. You have manifested this person um, and they are showing up. There's also somebody that you have like an emotional rift with, an emotional distance. You're successfully getting over that and moving forward, um, putting that behind you. Um, yeah, you're moving, you're moving forward very quickly. Uh, oops, Leo's, Leo men from a difficult situation. You could have had to walk away from somebody or somebody walked away from you, um, creating this like hole in your heart, creating this void in your life. Now you have taken the time to heal. You have taken the time to count your blessings, most importantly, and you're now ready to move forward knowing that you are going to find this person on your spiritual quest. You know that you are destined for a bigger, better relationship. And you know that in order for this door of opportunity to open, you have to start walking. And it is going to bring you to this emotional fulfillment, this happiness. Everything you had hoped for and that you have been trying to create in your life is about to knock on your doorstep. Um, so congratulations for that. You have taken the time to heal and to be patient with yourself in planting these seeds. And it's now about to be payday. It's about to pay off. Leo females, you are coming forward with the truth. You are speaking your mind today. Um, you now see a clear path. Wow. Yeah. Look at that. Queen of swords, bottom of your deck, ace of wands and justice and king of swords. Holy cow. All right, so Leo females, you're no longer putting up with anybody's bullshit. You are speaking your truth and you don't care who it offends. You don't care who don't want to hear it. You are coming forward and you are speaking about what you have found out. You have recently found out some information um, that you are not happy with. You're ready to cut yourself or cut them out of your life. You're tired of it. You have come through a very strong spiritual awakening, a very strong transformation um, in the last seven months, especially. Uh, but you are now, you are now seeing the truth of the matter. The fog is lifted and you're no longer going to put up with anybody who is not there for the right reasons. You see a door of opportunity opening as well. This is your abundance coming in for you. This is your new beginning. You could be getting a new job. Um, leaving an old job because of the bullshit that went on with that. Um, walking away from somebody you could be involved in at work. Um, doesn't have to be though. That's just for some of you. For the majority of you, you're coming through a transformation and no longer are you going to be able to sit by and be satisfied with people not in their truth. You know how it works. You know how it goes. Um, and you just don't have time for it. You have had a life full of lessons, hard lessons. And you've come too far to deal with anybody else's bullshit. Um, so if they're not there for the right reason, I see you telling them exactly where they're going today. Um, you have healed and moved forward. You're not going to let anybody ruin your happy place now. This was very hard for you to move forward, to leave the past behind. But now that you are, you are about to receive this emotional fulfillment. Um, because you have planted these seeds with the divine, you now have the keys to happiness, to success, and you know how to use them. So you're not, once again, going to let anybody, anybody ruin the hard work that you have put in, the difficult things you've had to leave behind, and, um, and to this new place of transformation that you have come. Yeah, you are, you're about to start a whole new life, Leo females, for the very 
very positive side of things. All right, what's Leo's focus today? There's those keys. You know how to use them. You have them. You're blessed with them. Um, let's see what the book says about them. Okay, so it says, the large keys above the people indicate the bigger issues in life. They are crossed, which indicates a turning point, a crossroads. Perhaps it's time to make an important choice or decision. Will we use the black key to open door number one or the white key to open door number two? We don't always know the secrets a key will unlock, and we might later wish we hadn't used the key to unlock anything. Yet how will we ever grow or process or even accomplish great things if we don't take risks and use the key that life sends our way? The card indicates that you already possess everything needed to find the solution to the problem. So look again at the situation. Half of the solution is dividing, defining the problem. You will find that everything needs to manifest your heart's desire is within reach. Use the keys to possess, use the keys you possess to manifest your desires onto the physical plane. <clears throat> the keys challenge. What door can I open with the keys I have? Wow. So most definitely, you have what it takes to bring the spiritual into the material. You have everything within you, the divine truth and the determination to win, to connect. Look at, and I had just said something about you having the keys. You have them, use them, manifest this beautiful connection that you desire. Because at this point in time, you can manifest whatever you want, Leos, with success. All right, Sagittarius. Oh, wait, let's get Leo's card. I don't know why I keep forgetting about this. Leo's. Leo, Leo, Leo. Thank you. All right, ascending the mountain. Keep going forward. It may feel like the journey is impossible, but once you get to the top, the view will be so worth it. So keep moving forward. Know that you have everything it takes, no matter how high or hard a climb the mountain seems, everything was is within reach because you have the keys to success, Leos. All right, Sagittarius. Sagittarius men, you're opening up some communication, um, revealing your feelings to somebody. Let's see what this Eight of Wands for our Saggy men are all about. Sag Whoa, Sagittarius men. You could be dealing with another Sagittarius. Um, Leo or Aries. Heavy Sagittarius here for some reason is what I'm feeling. So you could be a Sag with a Sag. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Thank you. All right, the Seven of Cups. So Sagittarius men, you want some answers. You are reaching out to somebody with a lot of fast moving communication about something that has confused you. You're not sure what the hell this person is doing and you're wanting answers. Um, for some of you, you feel that the person you're dealing with is your life partner. For some of you, it is. But by you opening up communication and really um, telling this person how you feel, what you want, what you desire, what you need, instead of living in a fantasy land, you will get what you desire. Um, the two of you had to walk away from each other for a brief time. I do feel this is somebody you have been with in this past. Um, you moved away from a situation with another fire sign or we got cancer pisces scorpio here or a taurus but you felt like this person could have been lying to you um so you're just really opening up communication and and demanding some answers here um them giving you these answers to the questions is going to help the two of you both move out of this um negative place out of this confusion and start moving forward towards a new beginning. Um, this is something that is going to manifest um, because of the hard work the two of you have both done in uh, when you have been separated from each other. Wow. Yeah, this is somebody of your past most definitely. Somebody that you believed could have been your like wifey material. The two of you had to focus on your own love for yourself before this could move forward. But it is coming back for an opportunity for emotional fulfillment. Um, you really view this person in high regard. You have a lot of beautiful memories with them. You just had to get through this confusion. You had to get down to the truth of the matter. And the two of you both had to walk away from this 
um, negative energy that that this confusion created um, and manifesting into um, a for a lot of you I'm seeing an engagement um, is coming this is something that is tangible it's something that's going to move in the right direction because like I said I do believe this is your life partner for a lot of you with the seven of cups that is your natural seven could be a Gemini as well um, but this this um, is really moving in a very very beautiful direction um, spiritually also emotionally fulfilling and abundant so walk away from the energy that is not working for you um, and focus on what makes you happy so for some of you you need to stop focusing on what they do that irritates you or drives you nuts or makes you unhappy and start focusing on what is it that makes me happy what is it that they do that I love? What is it that um, they do that makes me feel that this person is who I'm meant to be with? And those those characteristics, those qualities will start to shine a lot brighter than what it is that, that irritates you or bugs you. Because you truly do love this person. With the Ten of Cups, that's a lot of love. That's building a life together that you both desire and coming out successful, happy, fulfilled. Um, but opening up communication is the best way to start this in the right direction. All right. Sagittarius females. Why is the sun here? So you are stepping into your path. You are allowing the universe to light the way, um, illuminating things from your past that you necessarily didn't see, but it's helping you move on, move forward, making a decision to get out of a place of turmoil of emotional and and head you know head games somebody most definitely could have been um kind of jerking you around a little bit but you're making the conscious choice you're making a decision to no longer have that blindfold on you're seeing the truth of the matter you're seeing how somebody really is because the sun is illuminating things done in the dark or behind your back remember anybody that the universe takes out of your life is for a reason because they hear all see all and they know what that person was doing when you were not around and it's going to be illuminated and make it a clear decision to move away from this situation to set out on your spiritual path guided by the universe and into abundance and emotional bliss um you could have been waiting on somebody to return uh to you as well they could have been telling you i'm trying to get out of this situation i'm trying to get towards you i'm trying i'm trying well you're seeing the universe is bringing out information that that creates the ability for you to cut loose for you to get out of and get over this person that has let you down that has lied to you um and and by you walking away from that person that you were waiting on it is going to bring in something in the material, in the real life, the physical, that's going to bring you this beautiful, happy, abundant situation. This is this new beginning is very hard for you. Your challenge is to walk away. It's very hard for you to cut away from this person. You could feel like they were your soulmate or your twin or you just feel spiritually so connected and psychically bonded to this person but the universe is showing you the way out showing you the way to emotional freedom um, this is doing what you feel you are driven to do allowing your intuition to guide and it's going to bring you to a new place of enlightenment it's going to bring you to a new place of emotional fulfillment and most importantly it's going to bring you to a place where you can build and manifest a loving connection who will be there no matter what. Um, you will show up with the keys to success. You will know exactly how to move this forward. You've been very patiently waiting for somebody to get out of a marriage and they aren't. You're finding that out. So now you're cutting your energy away from that person and moving into the direction of a new beginning. This The major and minor arcana sun for me so both of these are meant for you from the divine the universe is blessing you with this and it's going to bring you much happiness sagittarius females all right 
What's your focus of the day? All right, thank you. Five. So this is all about healing. It's all about, um, well, let me read it again. Somebody else had this card and I can't remember who. All right. So it says, so often in Western culture, we trundle along happily accu accumulating education, accolades, money, and material things. Then suddenly we realize that the externals mean nothing and we have starved our spiritual self. Although the emphasis of this card is on the sick person, the doctor and nurse are very attentive and helpful. Therefore, the card has a positive connotation of recovery, that whatever the problem is, it will pass. The sick person card is a clarion, is a clarion call that yes, something is wrong and it's time for you to write it. It's all right to accept help and indeed it may be a good idea no matter what the problem. This card is a positive pointer towards recovery. You already possess what you need to be cured. So look forward to the time when you are well and whole again and look for the solution inside yourself. But don't be afraid to allow others to help you. What will make you well? What will it take for you to get out of this place and start feeding your spiritual self? Wow. That is, that's a pretty strong message there, Sagittarius. You have everything it takes to... <clears throat> Heal yourself and to move forward away from this emotionally exhausting situation um, and move towards your emotional bliss. Feeding your spiritual self instead of starving it. Your card of guidance today. Releasing, or no, surrendering to the journey. It's all about releasing control. You could have been trying to control the outcome, trying to make this person give you this new beginning. But that, you know, you can't. You have to just go with the flow. Step into the river of life and allow the universe to guide you, to allow it to bring you to your new place, your next place along the way. Um, when you go with the flow of the river, it will bring you right where you need to be. Even if you can't see where you're going right now, it's time to surrender and set foot one step forward no matter what is better than staying stagnant. So it's time to surrender, release control, and allow the universe to guide you, Sagittarius. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed your daily love reading. What an amazing day for our fire signs. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, please give me a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I much appreciate it. Once again, thank you for coming to my channel. God bless.